Right guys, we've had some questions and I thought the quickest way would be to just throw a video up um, and answer them straight out so that, uh, so that everyone knows what's going on. Um, we had an email in from Ashley in the USA and he said, I love the look of your jacket, but clipping on at the back sounds really difficult. How do I do this? Uh, it's really simple actually. The answer is you don't clip on at the back. T-mode functions like a completely normal jacket right up until the point that you pull the handle. So you clip on here at the front. Um, there's a soft loop attachment point exactly the same as with any other jacket. You fall in and then you deploy Timo. Uh, Simon from Italy says, how do I actually deploy back toe? Again, Simon, super simple. When you fall into the water, nor like a normal life jacket, the jacket inflates within five seconds of falling in, uh, and at which point this big back toe handle becomes available. You grab the back toe handle and pull it, and the end comes off, which releases the tether point that you've clipped onto at the front. And that releases back toe from the front of the jacket, all the way around, and then tows you along on your back. Super simple. And the final one we had was from Tom in Cows. Hi Timo, I'm looking to do a fast net this year. Do I need to get a 275 Newton jacket or is the 170 Newton going to be okay? Uh, the answer is Tom, it depends a little bit by weight um, and how much kit you're planning to wear. In general, 170 Newton should be just fine for all coastal and, and sort of moderate offshores, things like fast nets, middle sea race, that kind of thing. If you're going to do a transatlantic, you're going to go heavy offshore, you're planning to wear uh, lots of bulky clothing that is going to trap lots of air, then it might be worth looking at the 275. We're always happy to have a conversation with you. If you're not really sure which jacket it is, just email it in and we'd love to talk to you about it. Uh, as always, send in your questions to us. We love talking about Timo and we'd love to answer your questions and hear from you. Cheers, guys.